Hi, so my name is Lauren Tan. I am from San Francisco and I work at Netflix and I traveled all the way to Poland to do a talk on、uh, monoliths to services with Elixir and Phoenix.、Uh, so, okay,、uh, just to clarify, we don't use Erlang or Elixir and Netflix, but if I had the choice, I would.、Um, And why I like that language so much is because it was designed from the ground up to, do,、uh, to be fault tolerant. So that's really the, the, the thing that is the most interesting about Erlang、uh, and, or Elixir. You know,、um, the language itself is, is very nice to use, but the language features don't make, mean anything if、uh, it, it leads to you writing applications that crash and then never recover. But with Erlang, you can very explicitly handle、um, uh, errors and crashes、uh, as part of your regular、uh, application. And you can、um, you know, explicitly handle and, and say, like, all right, like, if this thing crashes, I want to restart it or I, I want to let it crash. You can, you can do this level of fault tolerance that you just simply cannot in other languages. At Netflix, we use mainly the JVM as a platform. So most of the languages we use are you know, like Java, Scala, some Kotlin. We have like, you know, a bit of Go as well. But the majority, I would say, is、uh, Java based. And we have a lot of tools that we've created to do fault tolerance. Um, so um, it's, it's also part of the reason why I started investigating Erlang and Elixir, because a lot of these tools actually exist in the language itself. So you don't need, you don't need like, libraries to do it for you.、Um, whereas in other languages, you do need libraries that explicitly have to solve this problem for you. Yes, so we have a, a, suite, of tools called,、um, a suite of tools called Chaos. And、um, it runs in production. So、um, during、uh, business hours, we will,、uh, if the service opts into it, we can、uh, just you know, schedule、um, random、uh, shutdowns of your service so that you can actually ensure that、uh, your service is truly fault tolerant.、Uh, I would say the biggest challenge right now is、um, becoming a true、uh, producer of original content. So, Netflix has somewhat already cracked the streaming side of things. But in terms of producing original content,、uh, we're still getting there. But it's a very important part of、um, our business. And I'm working on tools that help、um, people create and produce、uh, shows that、uh, most of it's probably secret.、Um, but there is a lot of tools that exist to help、um, creatives、uh, in all sorts of, like, you know, from everywhere from the pre production to post production process, we have tools that help them create shows. A really good show. So、um, please sign up for Netflix if you don't have a subscription. <laughs>